Welcome to STEAM Lab Saturday. STEAM Lab Saturday is something that we have on um, Facebook Live the first Saturday of every month. And actually today is the first one for 2022. So if you tune in the first Saturday of every month from here on out for the whole year, we'll have a STEAM Lab fun project um, at 12 o'clock, 12 to 1230. All right. And I try to use um, things that you have at home that aren't too hard to find. And today we only have two items that we need to build. Today we'll be building a 3D hexagon with marshmallows and toothpicks. And I'm going to switch cameras to the um, table here so that you can see what we're going to build and we'll go over the materials that we need, which are just a few things. Okay. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Let me switch cameras. All right. So we need the mini marshmallows. We've got a bag of mini marshmallows and some toothpicks. That's all we need. And we're going to be making this awesome 3d hexagon i made this a couple days ago just to see you know and test it and it's kind of cool because the marshmallows after a couple days get a little hard so it really does help your structure stay um, together well all right well, we're going to be learning some math terms today um and we'll go over this again later in the program but um, the marshmallows are the vertices that's where the the edges come together and that's a vertice and this is an edge the toothpicks are the edges of the shapes and the face is the front of the shape it's hard to see but there's a square there's a triangle here but that's the face so the vertices are the marshmallows and the edges are the toothpicks all right, let's start building. And I do want to say that I'm going to show you one way to build this 3D hexagon, but there are different ways to build, go about building it. The design process and engineering is different for everyone. Um, you can do all different kinds of things when you're engineering um, things, you know, different ways, different steps to get to the same spot. So, all right, let's get started. Let me take this, put it over here. All right. I'm gonna dump some marshmallows out on the table. Remember, you gotta don't eat them. They're for our project. I guess you can eat them afterwards if you have extra. All right, there's our marshmallows. And then we've got some toothpicks. So the first part we're gonna start with is we're gonna create the base. And that's the bottom of the um, three hexagon. Hexa. You might notice like hexagon starts with hexa. Hexa means Greek, uh, means six in Greek. So it's a polygon with six sides. So that's what we're going to start making for the base. We're going to make a hexagon. All right. We start with the first. We have a marshmallow in the middle. That's how we're starting. And then we're going to take a toothpick. Stick it on one side. And then take another toothpick and stick it on the other side. You'll see the hexagon once we um, build out from here. It'll start taking shape in a little bit. But can you? So it's just a tooth. It's two toothpicks inserted into the into the little mini marshmallow. All right. And then we want to take another one and on the bottom, and we want to do it at an angle. So we take two toothpicks on the bottom and kind of have them coming out like this. And we want to do the same thing to the other side. So we want six toothpicks. Two on the sides, two on the top, and two on the bottom. So it looks like that. All right. And we're going to take the marshmallows and then stick the marshmallows on each end of the toothpick. So we'll put one there, one here. You can spin it around if that's easier. Spinning hexagon. Sort of looks like a snowflake. <gasps> wow, doesn't it? It's a little heavy to pick up now. So we've got a toothpick on all of the ends. 
And now we're ready to add edges and we're going to connect the marshmallows with another toothpick all the way around. So take an edge, here's an edge, and then we'll put one toothpick, I'm sorry, one marshmallow on that side and one marshmallow on this side. And see how we connected the two? We'll do that all the way around. Okay, let's go. All right. Thanks every front, well, everyone for watching live. No, oh, thank you so much. I, I appreciate the nice compliment. <laughs> I always try to find some Steam Lab ideas that are fun and that you can do at home with just a few um, ingredients or materials. Okay, <gasps> look at that. So your base should look like that now. And this is actually a hexagon. There's six sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, and six vertices on the outside. So vertices are, remember the marshmallows are the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty cool. So that's our base. This is the bottom of our 3D hexagon. And actually, we need three of these. One is going to be the base, one's going to be the middle, and one's going to be the top. So, but now that we have the base, we're going to build up. We're going to go up from here. Okay, so we're going to take two toothpicks, and on each marshmallow, you're going to make a like a V shape. So, we'll go like that. Just push them into the marshmallow, and it kind of looks like that. Kind of like a letter V. And we'll do it to each of the marshmallows so we can spin it around. Do it to that one. Spinny, spinny. And as you build this with me, you might not like the way, you might not prefer the way that I build it. You can do it a different way to get the same effect. Another one. And then one more. And then we're ready to create the middle part. Look at that. Oh, spiky. Looks like a crown, kind of, doesn't it? I'm just going to leave it on the table. All right. Now we're ready for the next step, is, which is to make the middle part. We need something stable in the middle. If we do the top and the bottom without a middle, it's just going to fall over. So I'm going to set this aside over here, and we're going to make another base. So take our one toothpick here and move this over there. And we're going to put one on each side. And then two on the top. The nice thing about marshmallows and the toothpicks is it really does, it's sticky on the inside. So it does a great job of holding the toothpicks in place. You don't have to worry about it coming out if you really push it in there. All right. And then remember the next part, do you remember? Stick a marshmallow on each end, yep. Yeah. Spinny, spinny. Is there a snowflake? Okay, there we go. Now let's bring over the base that we um, were working on before. So let's bring that. Oh no, oops, almost forgot a step. Oh my goodness. We have to we have to put a f edge. We have to connect all of these marshmallows together. Oh, I almost jumped to the next step without doing this step. If we did that, what do you think would happen? Right? It wouldn't look. It wouldn't be as stable and it wouldn't look the way it should. Okay. I think there's such beauty in geometry. The symmetry is, for me, the symmetry is like, ooh, I like how like it looks the same on this side and that side. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Now everything is kind of like the same length. 
and how geometry makes all of these cool shapes. All right, now we're ready to get our base. Now we're ready. Okay. So we've got our, our middle and our base. To our base, we're gonna take one toothpick and the one in the middle, do you see the one in the middle right there? We're gonna stick a toothpick in there pointing straight up. Whoa, cool. So it's a toothpick pointing straight up. And then we're gonna take the top part and you might need a grown-up's help for this. Um, it's a little tricky. We're gonna actually put it on top and then on each of the, see where the V's meet? Here, let me see if I can get that while on camera. Where these two toothpicks meet, that's gonna go into one marshmallow. This is gonna go into one marshmallow all the way around. Okay, it's a little tricky because they don't have a top down view, but you'll get it once you. So you wanna place it on top. You can even push the center marshmallow in if that helps hold it. And then two edges meet at a vertice. Two toothpicks meet at one marshmallow. And then just go all the way around. Push them in. Do, 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 Oh, that looks so cool, doesn't it? And then we're going to make another one. We're going to repeat that whole process to create the top part and finish the, hex, the 3D hexagon. And you see that there's a hexagon on the bottom now, and there's one on the middle. We'll do one more on the top. Okay. So next step, we just set this, this beautiful sculpture aside, and we'll just repeat the same thing that we did to the bottom and the middle. Do you remember the steps? Two toothpicks, push them in. Have any of you eaten your marshmallows? Uh-oh. I know when I did my practice one, I had about three marshmallows. Can't help it, they're so good. But if you don't like marshmallows, that's okay too. <laughs> you think they smell good too. All right, next step, what do we do? Add them to the ends. We're making our 3D hexagon really strong by adding another level. You can stop at two levels if you want to, but to make it like a third level, it makes it higher, stronger. Okay. Then we connect the marshmallows with the toothpick. Do you notice the toothpicks when you look at your toothpick? Are they different lengths? Or are they the same? Yeah, all the toothpicks are the same length. So the edges, all the edges of our shapes have the same length. And then maybe when you're done with your with your 3D hexagon, you can count all the edges. <gasps> how many edges are in the thing total? Maybe you can count the vertices. How many marshmallows total did we use? And the faces, how many faces are there? How many triangle faces are there in the whole thing? Yeah, you can count that after. Okay, let's bring our part over here. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add the toothpicks, two toothpicks in here, going up in like a letter V, just like we did to the, the base, just like that. See? Push those in, do one at a time. Maybe after our program today, if you want to do it again at 
I do it again at home, maybe you can see how high you can build it. We're only doing three levels, but I don't know. How tall can you build your structure and still keep it stable? Meaning how high can you build it without it falling over? Can you make it like a foot high? Ooh. You could even test it out. You can build your structure and then put something maybe, I don't know, put something on top of it. How much weight can it hold? Can it hold a leaf, like a branch? Can it hold one of your socks or two socks? Can it hold a little bowl at the top, like a small bowl? I don't know. There's so many cool things that you can experiment with at home. Okay, we have all of our V's sticking out of our marshmallows. And then remember, we're going to take one toothpick and then push it in the center and have it stick straight up. So it should look like that. You know, it's kind of hard to tell from the picture. There we go. And then we're going to add the top that we built to it. Okay. So I like to push the middle one in to the middle marshmallow first and then go around and push the two toothpicks in. Edges connecting to the vertices. Edges connecting to the vertices. Dun, 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 dun. Vertices, edges, geometry. So fun. <gasps> wow. We did it. How does yours look at home? You know, it smells good and it looks beautiful. It's a work of art. Now, at home, like I said, you can keep going up and up and up. And how high can you get? I'm guessing, I'm estimating this is about seven inches high. I didn't measure the toothpicks, but I think they're about three inches long or four inches long. So this is like eight inches high, but can you go higher, higher? And this is, let's see, can this support the weight of our marshmallow bag? Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Let's try. How strong is our structure that we just made? Can it support the weight of our marshmallow bag? No, it's too heavy. Let me try the one that I made the other day, though, because the, all the marshmallows are hard, are hard now. They're super hard, almost like cement. So let's see if this one will hold the weight of our marshmallow bag. <gasps> it sure does. Wow, pretty cool. Awesome. Great job, everyone. And look, we have marshmallows, extra marshmallows to eat. Yum. <laughs> great job, great job. I hope everyone had such a good time making your mar 3D marshmallow hexagon, I think. Um, you can experiment at home and have even more fun and teach your family and friends how to make, um, make it. And then what other shapes can you make with marshmallows and toothpicks? You can kind of, I don't know, do it with squares. You can do a cube. How high can you make it if it's a cube? Right. That was so fun. Uh